All right, guys, as I promised you, this is a, do a little pregame, a little Dune IMAX 1 pregame reissue. And what's going to happen is we're going to go up right now to get our Dune posters because they're going to show 10 to 15 minutes of Dune 2. And look who we are with, Tyler Disney, our buddy. What up? What's up, buddy? What's up? So Tyler, man, you just uh, did the, oh, oh, we got we to gotta walk. Yeah. It's all right. El escalator's not working. Tyler has two articles on uh, thelatinoslant.com, Echo and Ted. Great job, buddy. Thanks. What's uh, what's your next review you're gonna do for us? Argyle. Okay, so how do you feel about Dune IMAX, about Dune 2? What's your, what's your pregame thoughts? Um, never seen it in an IMAX, so this is gonna be exciting. Uh, only I had a chance to watch it on HBO Max when it came out. Oh, you didn't see it in the theater? No. So what? this is my first time watching Dune in the theater. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get back with you afterwards on the Dune two extra scenes we're gonna see. We'll get yeah. your thoughts. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna have posters. Bye. Okay. Listen, there is no poster for this uh, fan event. That's okay. So we jumped the gun on that one, but we are going to see Dune reissue IMAX. Then they're going to give us 10 to 15 minutes of the new Dune. And I will be back with my review on that. Okay, stick around. All right, so we just got out of the, the theater. Uh, we saw the entire Dune IMAX. Quick reminder, I'd seen it twice in the movie theater and since then probably once on IMAX sorry once on Max HBO Max at home what a beautiful film this was uh, it, it really is this a gorgeous film I mean and yeah I forget how many great performances there were from Momoa to Ferguson of course Chal uh, Timothy Chalamet all right but you guys aren't here for that you're here to get my reaction to the footage and scenes of D Dune 2. All I can tell you guys right now is this is going to be one of the most, uh, this is probably going to be the one of the most, probably the most epic movie of the year. What we got to see on the big screen was Paul's first ride on a worm. And it was, uh, cinema-wise, it's everything you thought it would be as far as venue, the way he, he shows scope, depth of field, excitement, even a little humor before. And then once he goes after the worm, it's just so thrilling, man. It was so thrilling. Almost as if you didn't think he was going to make it. That's how thrilling it was. Uh, what I got to before was when he was prepping to, to go on, up, uh, up and do his first run was the quick relationships and seeing that time has passed since the end of Dune 1. I don't know where in Dune 2 this lies, but you get a quick relationship with the time has passed with Javier Bardem, with uh, Zendaya's character, and even a couple other of the tribal mer uh, characters that uh, really had taken him in as one of their own. Also to Javier Bardem called Paul Usul. It was really quick, it was almost under breath, but he knew, he said Usul and he was showing him like a like a, a piece of equipment. And I was like, oh shit, Usul. That was cool. You got to how much Zendaya's character, how much Chani was was really concerned and caring for for uh, for Paul. So that was great. That was great. I didn't see Rebecca Ferguson's character in that scene. Um, it was just the, you know, the, the tribe, uh, that, that particular part of the tribe that was there. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely, uh, it blew me away. And, and, and again, I say that it blew me away in, in how he filmed it, in, in, in the thrill of it it was just very intense and very beautiful and scary at the same time this is 
this is what cinema is all about. And there's a there's a note to where to where um Denis Villeneuve comes on before, and it's it's almost like a real mini featurette before the full scene, but it ends with Denis talking, and he's talking about his dreams of filming this as a little kid, that this was it, and so, which is really cool, but the final thing he says is, viva la cinema, and long live cinema. <laughs> and everyone in the, in the crowd was like, yeah! Guy's an OG, man, you guy's an OG. This is what cinema is all about, and this is how it's gotta be. Yeah. You got it in mind. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, quick reaction to the, just to the. Uh... Okay. So this was my first time watching it in IMAX uh -huh. and wow. Sound, amazing. Quality, amazing. Just a great time. Saw about 10 minutes of part two and it was just incredible. Can't wait to see the full thing. Did you pick up on what Javier Bardem called him? When, at the, when they're walking up the mountain, did you pick up, did you hear what he called him? Um, it's really quick. I couldn't hear him. So he called him Usul, which is his, his what it's like one of his names in the book. I was like, oh! Didn't call him Paul, or didn't call yeah. Paul Maldib, or Paul Atreides, he calls him by his tribal name, Usul. And I was like, yeah! At so, least I got a good back massage, because the guy behind me was kicking my seat oh my half God. the time <laughs> during the movie. So, but, yeah. but as far as the, the worm ride, it was pretty thrilling, it was pretty exhilarating, intense. Yeah, it was just a fun time. There you go, guys. This is going to be a huge hit. This is going to be, I think it's going to be, well, I think it's going to be glorious. Well, man. some of the, they showed the movie to a bunch of exhibitors two weeks ago saying, and they're calling it a masterpiece. From what I saw, that, yeah, it, yeah I mean, it's, it, it, it's, I'm like kind of like, blah, 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 because I'm like, yes, uh, you don't want to say it until you've seen it, but yeah. seeing that 10 minutes, you're just like, all right, like let me know what you guys already. think. I'm gonna, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna end it right here. But there you go, ten minutes of Dune Two plus a featurette, and like Denis Villeneuve says, "Long live cinema." Woo! <laughs>